During a discussion about Harry and Meghan, GB News presenter Mark Longhurst pointed out that RSVPs were due this Monday, but still there has been no word on the former Duke and Duchess of Sussex. Unsurprisingly, there has been plenty of speculation surrounding whether or not the couple is going to attend. The Prince released a tell-all book called Spare earlier this year, opening up on private moments at Buckingham Palace, including a fight between him and his brother Prince William. Longhurst went on to give his own views on the situation, describing the Sussex's behaviour as risible. He explained, I'm just looking at sources that have been quoted, whether they're accurate or not. Lengthy discussions they said between the Sussexes and the palace. Harry has a lot of questions about how the event will work. That does seem rather risible, doesn't it? Everybody knows how a coronation works. Everyone knows where you go, Westminster Abbey. If Prince Harry does attend, it is unclear if he will choose to leave his family in Montecito, California, to go to the coronation alone. Royal commentator Judita De Silva says that everyone is remaining tight-lipped on the matter as discussions are still going ahead. One issue is the fact that those who work for the royals, also referred to as the firm, want to keep control of the narrative. Right now, it seems like every road and every avenue they could possibly choose, the attendance or lack thereof, Prince Harry will dominate the narrative, De Silva said. She also went on to explain how it is an issue of optics if the former royals do attend. De Silva commented, I think basically this is going to be a version of posturing, because the whole move of having Prince Harry accepting his independence and himself as an independent entity from the royal family. So all these discussions and negotiations and the late RSVPs is part of that new position Prince Harry occupies as a separate person and a separate individual, a separate unit with his wife and children from the royal family. So when these talks are happening, I believe what's happening is they're trying to understand what potential position Harry or Harry and Meghan could be put in visually. Because right now the narrative has been governed by the optics, and they're in a situation where they might be sat very far behind or in a corner and they don't look so good and there could be a ricochet effect.